You know what the fuck going on, man. It's Big Homie Mac, man. Big Dive Business, bitch. And we in here with 317 A&R turning locals into stars, bitch. So, so is it some more people up under the GRQ, you feel me? Uh, yeah. Uh, my boys. My boy Jab. He hard than a bitch. He, uh, he a grown artist right now. Like, he trying to really find his way in this shit. Like, but he growing again. He hard right now, but he trying to get his shit together. Shit, and I'm helping him. Mm -hmm. Feel me? My boy DJ, he on the same type of time. He a nice-ass artist, hard as fuck. Mm -hmm. He just growing, trying to figure it out. So, they doing their thing, you know what I'm saying? They coming up, but I wouldn't feel like they, I wouldn't even consider them as under me. You feel me? Because yeah. I want to see them shine like, you feel me? Like how I'm doing. Oh, God. So to say. Oh, God. So, uh, you said you dropping the tape, right? Yep. Called, I'm what's it called again? In my element. In my element. So you you got a date for it? Uh, I was gonna say the fifteenth of next month. The fifteenth of next month. So yep. you finna drop. Like, yeah. Hey, so. Yeah. You got good. you got any other artists on that motherfucker? Uh, I'm finalizing the songs that I'm putting on there. I got a few features with a, a few artists from here, like some nice ass songs. But I'm trying to figure out like what you want, songs. You I tell them or you gonna wait? Mm, I'm gonna let them wait for it. Wait. Hell yeah. All right, for sure. That shit gonna be hard. Alright, alright. So uh speak on like a valuable lesson you learned since you since you've been rapping for you've been rapping for a long time now. So can you speak on something you learned since you jumped in the game? Uh yeah. I think the main thing that I learned is them near to stay humble. Mm -hmm. Like everybody you can pop your shit, don't get me wrong. Like I always pop your shit, but like you gotta be humble. Like, a lot of people be feeling they self too much. I think they, like, I don't know. They think they too far ahead or they too good. You know what I'm saying? You kind of just got to keep your head low and really keep on working. Like, everybody gets satisfied at a point in time. And that's what I'm not. Like, I'm hungry than a bitch every day. I don't care what's going to happen. In the end, even when I get successful, no matter how it happened, I'm still going to be hungry as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, that didn't just happen. So the main thing, main lesson is being humble. For sure. If you don't, life will humble you real quick. For sure. Nah, you're right. So, so as you learning these lessons and you coming up, you feel me? Um, how do your people react to feel me? You having your talent and you really honing in and perfecting it. Your uh, family, your niggas, all that. Like it's damn near crazy right now because I'm at a point where like a lot of people starting to like discover me and like on. yeah, listen to my music. So seeing my mom, even my mama, like. My mama, she used to damn near look at me like I was crazy. Mm. Like, she damn near used to, she ain't see the vision. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, that's how it be, though. Ain't mm -hmm. don't nobody say, motherfucker, like, you crazy as hell. So you but, really show that you focused? Yeah, and once I really got my bag, like, damn near last year, my mama was just like, wow. Like, she was like, I see what you used to talk about. Like, she'd be like, okay. Uh -huh. And then she was like, she called me probably like two weeks ago and was like, uh, Somebody sent me your music. She was like, I loved it though. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'm like, mommy, you just don't. You hear all the. When I play it, my mama, she, if she hear any type of cussing, she wanted them. She old school. So yeah, old school. She I be cut like, that shit off. Bro, but this was crazy. I was playing some of it in the car. I'm riding with her, playing some of it in the car. She ain't even know it was me. Yeah. She just bobbing her head, dancing and shit. And I'm yeah. like, I'm like, so you like that song? She said, yeah. I was like, that's my song. But it had all types of cussing in it. You feel me? I'm like, see, man, that's crazy. That's hell. My mama, she just old school, that's man. How they, that's how it be. <laughs> For real, man. Shit. So uh, speak on, like, your creative process. Like, when you in the studio and shit, you about to cook up some, like, what you need in there. Uh, is it fat? Is it you alone? You writing? You punching? What you doing? Um... Okay, so when I'm in the studio, it's not like I, I don't feel like I need nothing but water and shit, the mic. <laughs> shit, once I'm in mode, I'm in mode. Shit, I might need, I might grab a little wood or something, you know what I'm saying? Just something to have me feeling good in that motherfucker, but I really just gotta feel what type of vibe I'm feeling, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Shit, once I get what vibe I'm feeling in that motherfucker, and which is, it, that got something to do with the beat. I gotta find the beat. Once I find the beat, I know what mood, like, I gotta find what mood and how I'm feeling, like, inside. 
and I gotta bring that up out of me. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I be punching in, like, but sometimes I do right. Like I don't punch in all the time. Sometimes I go in the studio with a song already written. Mm -hmm. But majorly, and yeah, in this, in this, in my, in my element tape, majorly, these songs is uh, punches. Like, but they crazy as fuck and they clean as fuck. You know what I'm saying? That punch with them nigga, hey, that's how you get that raw shit right out. Yeah, like, you, I'm gonna show you some shit, but like, crazy, show. bro. Um, so speak on, like, the music scene in Indianapolis, bro. Like, everybody li like to say that we're not together enough, like Atlanta or, you know what I'm saying? Something like that. Uh, What's your, what's your take on that, bro? I know just what it is. What? It's, uh, okay, so out there, I be out there, bro, so I can tell you. Yeah. But, like, the, uh, the black dudes, like, the black people out there, like, they just not the, they not the same. Like, they don't act the same out here. Like, it's, it's poor people in poverty out there, but, like, mm -hmm. majority of the black people out there are, like, getting money. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like the white people money. out here. Like, you know, you go to Carmel. When you say Carmel, you think it's straight white people. Yeah. You say Noblesville, you think it's straight white people. Mm -hmm. When you say that shit out there, bro, it's black, majority them, they're black people and a, a little bit of white people. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I'm not on a racist shit or nothing, no, I'm but going. it's just like, like the big houses the motherfuckers is in is owned by black people. It's more black businesses out there, like, you feel me? It's just more black people doing shit like that, and I'll be damn near surprised, but that's not how it's supposed to be. And, cause I'm from here, and normally that's how it is out here. Mm -hmm. When I go out there, you know what they say about here? What? They say Indianapolis, Indiana is a white people's uh, place, like yeah. a state, you feel me? I'd be like, damn. They don't even but know this here. They don't even know it. Don't you feel know. me? They don't even think of it like that. So I'd be like, wow. Especially if they ain't really travel for real and what? they don't know. You feel me? I'd be like, wow. They think it's just cornfields and you feel me? And that's kind of why I started this. Cause I'm like, man, we got a lot of talent. You feel me in this bitch? And the average American that ain't been to the Midwest, like they just think if you ain't in Chicago or Detroit, you feel me, that it's just white people in cornfields. That don't make sense, bro. You know I know swear to that, that's how it is. But it's just a lot of more it's a lot more people that's getting money out there. And it's a lot of people who just be poor out here and they cool with being poor. Out there you don't you damn near don't have a choice. You either gonna be poor or you gonna hang around motherfuckers to get money and figure out how to get some money too. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody hanging with nobody broke out there. I'ma tell you that. If motherfuckers is in groups or together, everybody get money. Yeah. Everybody trying to figure it out, but everybody doing it though. Oh, the mindset is different. That's why niggas out here, they trying to figure. And this niggas did hit licks out there, but it's it's majority of niggas out here they trying to figure out the next lick, the next. Man, fuck all that. Niggas is trying to figure out how to get some bands in a day. Fuck a couple hundred out. You feel me? Yeah. It's just uh, the mindset be different out there. God. So what you would think of take like, cause a lot of times when I'm talking to artists, they say, they say it's, it's that and it's the politics of like, who you know, like who you hang around, your people and shit. Mm -hmm. Like, so I know just based off that, it's damn near gonna be tough to get everybody come together. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's damn near impossible for everybody to come together. But what you think will make more motherfuckers wanna work and network and you know what I'm saying? Again, it's the mindset. Like, here, motherfucker gonna try to do some business with, like if somebody wanna do a song with you and they fuck with you off the strength, I ain't gonna lie, you can get a song, probably. But like, the average motherfucker ain't doing no free features. Like the motherfuckers is really popping here. Mm -hmm. They ain't doing no, they ain't showing no love, no nothing. Mm -hmm. Cause they don't, they don't know you and they probably ain't trying to. Yeah. They trying to know the next motherfucker that's, you feel me, in Atlanta or, you know what already I'm yeah, okay. so, boom, it be the mindset like that. Like, I go out there, bro, motherfucker might walk in my session or walk past the door and hear me and be like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, bro, get with me after this. Yeah. You feel me? It be like that. Like, motherfuckers, I, 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 done, I done experienced that with this. Like, I feel like motherfuckers don't, you feel me, honor collaboration. You know what I'm saying? Like. What I'ma gain from you and what you gonna gain from me, damn near equal. We might not, not even need no bread in between you. You feel me? Straight we up. might just need each other's following. Straight up. We just went up a couple more, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. 
Nah, I, I, I feel it. So you, uh, so how would you say, like, motherfuckers accepted you? Like, do motherfuckers be trying to work more now that you going crazy? Or, like, yeah. is it, like, is it some artists in the city that you, you know, you fuck with, you look like, think they really wrong with the shit? Oh uh, yeah, it's a few artists here that's crazy as it, like, they go crazy as fuck, but, like, everybody got their own sound and doing their shit, like, uh -huh. it's it's a lot of collab, it's been a lot of collaborations, like, damn near since I went, I went solo. I was supposed to do them, but, like, I never got around to it, like, but now, I'm working, so it's like, alright, come on, let's do it. And I tapped in with a few artists from here, uh, shit. AP, oh, he hard than a motherfucker. Uh, Mar, he hard than a motherfucker. Y'all just dropped some shit. Uh, we just made some shit. We gonna drop. It's, it might be on the tape. I say, I feel like I seen y'all in the video or some shit. Mm -hmm. Drop y'all finna drop. Yep. And shit, he got some. He got a tape coming. Shit, I'm trying. I'm trying to see if I'm about to be on that bitch. We about to see what we about to do. Mm -hmm. But we got some shit coming though. It's some fire. Mar, AP, yeah, they hard. Uh. Kevo Kev Fooley. I seen it. Yeah, I seen We got it. some shit. We got some most shit coming. We always go crazy. Uh, yeah, I think. Let me look real quick. Cause um, we finna put out this playlist. You feel me? Every couple months, I put out a playlist of the city, like a whole bunch of shit. I think I got y'all shit on the first degree. Yep, first degree. Shit yep. hard. Oh my mama, that motherfucker going crazy. We shot that bitch uh, right in the studio. Oh God. oh God. Right after we made that motherfucker. Oh God. <laughs> That's how it be though. Yeah. That's what type of time I be trying to get on. Like, motherfucker, that's what I'm saying. If you get money or if you if you really on some shit, motherfuckers are gonna fuck with you and show love. It just be the like it's a lot of fuck niggas here, bro. Mm -hmm. The motherfuckers is not really no like to be on some cool shit. Motherf whoever be on some cool shit gonna get with the motherfuckers to really be on cool shit. Mm -hmm. You gonna be able to feel the vibe of a fuck nigga. Or, you feel me? And I've definitely felt vibes of fuck niggas around here too, bro. Like, it's a lot of fuck niggas out. Like niggas just weird or niggas writing like what you think? Like, like just weird. Like, they probably ain't even like that for real. Like, you feel me? Like trying to do too much or trying to prove something to prove. To be you feel too me? Tough and shit. I hate that, bro. Like a nigga that can't be himself, cause that just mean shit. You probably a whole front. <laughs> so I heard there's a lot of that going on. So um, what about the song? I fuck with that that one with um. What's bro name? Uh, CMB. Uh, CMB Vontae? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got some, some shit with him coming, some more shit with bro coming? Some crazy, we got some crazy ass shit. His ass probably somewhere around here, but yeah. We got some crazy ass shit coming. Me and Tay, we, that's my bro, man. Yeah, I just found some of that shit. So they got a, they got some artists too, don't they? Like a couple up under CMB type. Yup. Hell yeah. It's a few of them. That's what's up.